I'll attempt to weigh out about five milligrams of benzoic acid here. First of all, I need the right type of spatula. Uh, this one looks a little too blunt for me, so I'll use one of these fine spatulas. I zeroed out the weighing paper. You can see it takes a little while for the scale to respond, so I'll give it the time it needs. Some people have trouble reading this. They'll think, oh, I got 81 milligrams, 82 milligrams, but this is 8.2 milligrams, not 82 milligrams. Make sure you look where the decimal place is. Not all balances are created equal. This is the milligram balance. That same sample is eight milligrams. We don't have the next decimal place here. A photograph is a good way to record your actual data. Then we can look back and decide what precisely do your measurements mean. When working with these very small quantities, you'll typically make your solution in a vial. But this method here has, has problems it's essential that you measure the material that actually got into the vial and not assume that everything you weighed on the paper was transferred. Here's an excellent example. I weighed 8.2 milligrams on the paper but only 6.6 .6 milligrams actually made it into the vial. Many students will take a long time to weigh out a sample because they think they're looking for a precise mass, 5.0 milligrams. Almost always you'll take your solid and dissolve it in some solvent. If the desired concentration was 5 milligrams for 1 milliliter, you simply add additional solvent to make the concentration equivalent. You will undoubtedly make messes on this balance. Here you can see there's some spilled chemical. I have these brushes here precisely for this purpose. Sweep the trash out of the compartment, then sweep the tabletop itself and get all this trash into the waste basket. Keep it clean and tidy. Close the door when you're done. In case of a major spill, these parts are removable. You can see there's a whole bunch of dirt here. I can take this to the sink or the trash can and dump it out, wash it out. When you're done, wiping your spatula with a Kim wipe will help prevent contamination for the next user.